Hey guys, what's up me feels and today I'm going to be doing the draw my life challenge. And um and yeah, so let's go. So on um, so basically on eight 24, this is hard, I was born, so, I was born as Paisley, Woo. Oh, I didn't have hair back then, but who cares, I apparently have a beard, messed up, Woo. and so basically, at first, my parents, my parents wanted to name me Tabitha, and, but they also thought that I was a boy. Yeah. But I wasn't, and, yeah. And so my dad's last name was Reigns, so my mom said that if I, if my mom, since I have two dads, that that my and my real dad, my real dad's last name is Reigns. Like, you know, Rain. So she wanted to name me Stormy, but she, she then got married later to um, a different person. Not pointing their name out. Um, who was now my my stepdad. And right now, actually, I'm at my real dad's house, so. And so, I began to grow up as a, as a really wonderful girl. Oops. And I was sweet. And I had very short hair back then. And, yeah. I had lots of friends. But I lived in townhouse, so none of my friends were really, I don't know. Mm. They left a lot. So, one day, and I was doing really good in school, but one day, this, during summer, I was swimming. And... I ended up busting my lip open, like this. Oh, why do I always do that? And it was very tragic. And yeah. Mm, there's gonna be a lot to undo and I ended up getting stitches which I hated so yeah and if I had my face cam on and you might have seen in my other videos a mark underneath my lip if not, like, go look at my other videos and try to spot it. It's right under my bottom lip. And, yeah. So, in first grade was a sad start. And I got bullied by somebody, don't know, I can't remember his name, but I'm just going to call him Timmy. I'm just going to call him Timmy. So, of course, try not to be racist. He was a different race than me. And whenever the school year was over and I was put in a different class, after my mom took me out and I told her finally about the bullying, um, I was moved to a different school, Lopez. And... 
I actually found out that the that the first grader that was bullying me actually had a crush on me. And that was a terrible heart. <laughs> and and so I got curious and um, I actually hit him to this day. But, yeah. I made a jaw fountain race. But, right. So, at Lopez, everything was normal in first grade. I learned, and I talked 24-7, and I got in trouble a lot, I'll just say. And so, in second grade, that's when weird stuff began basically. So, there's this kid named, I'm just going to say Jackson, but his real name was Daquan. Of course, again, different race. And instead of bullying me, he liked me. And I did not like him back because he had weird stuff all over him and he had freckles, lots of freckles. That's weird for someone with a different race of me. And no shouldn't judge me by look I was but I was very judgy whenever I was in second grade. Anyway, so every time the teacher was not looking, he would walk over to me and I don't know how to say this, but he would basically well he would basically like I don't know, touch me. And I already told my parents about this, and so I was moved to a different school. So he's supposed to be smiling, and I'm supposed to be put me in a blue dress, because that's when things all started, whenever I wore a blue dress. And he would touch my butt and my back, and yeah. Very weird kid. Very. And so whenever, um, so whenever I was moved to a different house, a different school, um, I made lots of new friends. Like, um, I'll just say Jane, that's not her real name, and, um, Christy, I'll say. Those two. Those aren't their, their real names. I'm just not pointing it out. Because it's their personal information. And it's not supposed to go on the internet. So, they were good friends. And we laughed. <coughs> um, we talked about weird stories. About, like, our other grades. And actually... I was kind of jealous of Christy's hair. Christy, at second, at, at, in second grade, she got to dye her hair red. And I only had blonde hair, which I did not like. And now whenever I'm an adult, I'm going to dye my hair purple. Go, cupcake! Sorry, guys, I'm bad at drawing. That's supposed to be a cupcake. But I'm actually good at drawing, but I mean... I'm doing this on my phone with my finger. So, anyway, so <clears throat> in third grade, um, I was very bossy. And I did not like the way I looked. And I hated basically everyone. But then we moved. And then I was into four, fourth grade, where everything started to change. Dun, dun, dun. It's not like personal stuff, where it was just that fourth grade is kind of like in the middle, and you're so nervous about going to fifth grade, which is where the people are. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I'm going to stop now. And 
I was doing bad in school, and actually right now I'm in fourth grade, so I have a feeling I'm going to fail because everybody's, because I'm forgetting my homework, which is now I'm part of the grades, which is new, and I'm learning division, and I did not learn that, and I'm starting to learn new things, and it got, it got me like, what is life, dun, dun, dun. Anyway, so then um, I moved again to this new house that was made out of bricks. And I'm actually currently living in that house now. Why did I just erase that? And it was a good house. And then I understood that apparently there's no other girls in the neighborhood. Besides my friend Olivia, and she used to be the only girl in the neighborhood, and she was so mad about, you know, playing with boys. I do not know which symbol is which, so just go by the color. Red is girl, and then blue is boy. So if you see me do that, I'm confused. I'm only nine. Nine, I say. Nine. Fourth grade. Ugh. So anyway, I made a new friend, Olivia. She had blonde hair as well. My first blonde friend ever. Finally didn't feel left out. And, and yeah. So, and then I didn't tell you about my friend Miranda. Well, actually, she's on YouTube with me a lot. But ever since I met Olivia, she has gotten jealous. And I don't want her to be jealous because why can't I have friends? Different friends. And so she started to get in more and more fights with me. Because we got into a lot of fights before, but... And yeah. So that turned... Wait, hold on. So that turned, so before it went from fights a little bit, and then saying, I'm sorry, to her getting jealous, and ending up making the fights, and turning my smiley face into a frown. And so since um, that's that, I currently am only in fourth grade, I don't know what to expect, and life, oops, and life is just full of, let me just say, out of the blue, weird stuff, basically, like boo, and uh, like maybe in the future, so basically, life went from old telephones that look like this. Boop, 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 boop. To phones that are thin as paper. And so, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And... Tell me what to do next, and I'm sure whenever I'm in, like, I don't know, sixth grade in middle school, I'll tell you if I'm bullied, and I'll do another My Life Story. Thank you, and bye. Sorry if I have bad handwriting. This is on my phone again. Yay.